All right, this is a quick little demo to show you how to use dynamic web templates and expression web. So let's go ahead to get started. You've got to create a new site. You do that by clicking on site. Click on new site. And from here on the left hand side, it starts out with this general uh, site, which gives us pretty much a blank page and empty site. Um, or if you want to start out from scratch, but we want to use the dynamic web templates that are part of Expression Web. So we'll go ahead and select templates. You can see there are a bunch of different templates you can choose from. So go ahead and find one that we like. And then down here we can give it a name. Go ahead and click OK. And then you'll notice that once you use one of the uh, web templates that are part of Expression Web, you have it creates a, a bunch of subfolders for you. So it basically gives you the framework for your entire website. So you have the default page that once you click it, this is what you'd see when you first go to your website. And then you have other folders that once you click in them, there are other web pages inside there. So like here's our contact information and also go back to the site view if we go back to here to the root you can see there's a styles folder if you click, it, if you click on that it has all of the cascading style sheets that are part of this web layout okay so let's go back to the main default page that we had from in here, you can see there are different sections that you can go into, click in, and edit. So if we want to go here, we can modify these, make changes to them, pretty much do whatever we want to them. The only thing that we can't do is, if you notice, there are certain sections of the page that we can't click on, and we can't edit those pages. And that's like that with every page that's part of this template. Now. Generally speaking, that's not very useful because uh, you know these it has a generic name to the website. We want to customize it so it looks like our website, something that we want, something that we created. And to do that, we can do that. But what you need to do is you need to go here, select master.dwt, go ahead and open that up, and you get this file. And this should look pretty familiar. This is the default basic stuff that makes up every page is part of this web template. So if we go back here, you can see website name, you can see the navigation bar across the top. If we go back to the master.dwt, you can see that's all here. But now, in the dwt file, we can actually click in these different sections and actually edit them. We can even change the navigation bar if we want. If we want to add some custom link names, we want to change them a little bit, just make it look more like our own page. Or we can go in here and even modify different portions of the page. We can go here and really customize it. Now, let's go ahead and save that. One thing that you'll get when you're modifying the master.dwt files, it's going to tell you that there are six files attached to the master.dwt file, at least six files with this particular template. And it's going to ask us to update them. And typically we want to say yes, so this time we will say yes. It's going to update all six of those files. So now, when we click on these files, it's going to show us the changes that have been made to them. One thing to, to uh, I want to point out to you is if you're modifying the files and you have happen to have one of the files open and you modify that master.dwt file, it doesn't automatically save the, the page itself, but it does make the changes. So all you'll have to do, and you'll notice this, you'll see this little star next to uh, the files that you have open, letting you know that 
changes have been made, you just need to save them. So we'll go up here and just save them. You notice that star will go away. But now if we look at here, if we go back to our main page, you can see our new uh, modifications that we made to our template. See my new website. See the links have been changed, my gallery. So that's that's pretty much it. Just a few simple little modifications we made. You can imagine there's many more that you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this and you got a lot out of it. Thanks.